Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to show you how to add a Lottie animation to your Bootstrap 4 site. This will work with an HTML site also. Now Lottie or Lottie Files provides some great free animations. They also provide some premium animations here. Uh, and they start off pretty cheap, 99 cents up to a few dollars. But uh, we're going to be using one of the free ones today. And that's the one I put in there. Now I've got a bootstrap template here. Just a simple bootstrap starter template I've created with brackets free text editor. And we've put it in there. So let's get our brackets up. And what I'll do is I'll delete... The Lottie script there and what we've got here is there's our main menu up there I've got that little title up there then I've got a container with a row with a couple of columns in it the columns are six on a large device which is my monitor at the moment so they'll be side by side two on small devices that they're 12 so they'll be single width so let's go over to Lottie select which one we want let's take a different one I took that one last time let's take this one this time and all I'm going to do is left click on it now in previous videos we showed you how to download the JSON file and upload it that's using the WordPress system and some plugins there uh, we've also showed you how to do it with HTML which we're going to do today because that'll work nicely with bootstrap so if we go down a little bit down here you'll see a little button that says HTML click on it it'll open another page there and here's our animation and you can go through you can change things play mode normal bounce direction forward backwards background color you can put it in here if you want to or you can put it in on your site size let's bring that up in size just a little bit bring it up to 400 picks by 400 picks you can increase the speed or decrease the speed uh, it's one at the moment say 1.5 that'll speed it up a little bit of course you can speed it up crazy amounts you can speed it up to three if you want to and you can slow it down again by going sort of 0 0.5 i think let's let's leave it about 1.5 that seemed to work quite nicely controls you can choose whether to show the controls here's your controls i don't want to show that on mine i just want it to play auto play yeah we want it to auto play when the site loads you can choose whether to play the animation on hover with this little checkbox here and to loop it with this one here if you uncheck that once it's finished its cycle it's going to stop now once you're happy with everything that you've put there here's the code that it's generated and you can either select it or just hit the copy code when you've copied your code we need to go back to our brackets before I actually paste that code in there let's just go to our site here and refresh this to make sure that's disappeared there we go okay let's go back to our brackets text editor and I'm simply gonna paste this into our first column of our first row here right where my cursor is right there control V to paste and there's our script I'm gonna tidy it up just a little bit just take the gaps out there we go and that's everything we just copied over from there so let's save our changes control s back to the site and refresh and there it is there's our animation live on our site really couldn't be any easier at all and that's a nice little feature to have on your website so i'll put the uh Lottie page, the lottiefiles.com URL below this video. And you're good to go. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.